So I came to South Sudan and I feel like I just entered Manhattan because I'm surrounded by skyscrapers. These guys are like seven feet tall. We're somewhere in southwestern Central African Republic and uh, we are in the middle of the forest and we're about to get dropped off to hang out with the pygmies for 24 hours. Yeah, they're like my little brothers. <laughs> Typically, when two countries share a border, their cultures, traditions, and physical looks of the people are very similar. Take a look at Thailand and Cambodia, Guatemala and Honduras, Morocco and Algeria, and Portugal and Spain. Despite being different countries, they have many more similarities than differences. Most regions of the world are like this, but Central Africa is a totally different ballgame. Let's go to South Sudan! Over the last few months, I visited many places across Central Africa and it's simply one of the most diverse regions I've ever seen. The countries of South Sudan and Central African Republic share a border that's over a thousand kilometers long, but they have almost nothing in common except for nature. The language is different, the food is different, and especially the people are complete opposites. South Sudan's largest ethnic group is called the Dinkas. They are the tallest humans on earth, averaging well over six feet tall, and it's even normal to see seven footers walking on the streets. But if you travel just across the border to Central African Republic, you can find the Pygmies, also known as the world's shortest tribe. They live scattered across remote parts of the forest and are some 35% shorter than the average human being. I can't tell you how incredible it was to spend time with both the Dingas and the Pygmies, but this is only one example that proves that Africa by far is the most diverse continent in the world. As the source of civilization, it's home to the most fascinating people and religions and there's so many stories to tell. Welcome to Malawi. This is a good country. Welcome to Chigali, the cleanest city in Africa. You haven't really been to Kenya until... You ride a Matatu. Yeah, welcome to Somalia. Thank you, bro. Jambo, jambo sana, muzuri kwetu, hakuna matata. Africa has almost every single landscape that planet Earth has to offer. And frankly speaking, many of the experiences that are available on this continent are not able to be found anywhere else. So whether it's the world's tallest people or the world's shortest people or anything else across the 54 countries, keep Africa at the very top of your bucket list. What was your first thought when you saw me the first time? Like, what did you think? He said that uh, you look like a human being, like him, but you are just a bit, uh, you are not dark like him, but you look like a human being. I am a human being. We're both human. <laughs> My country, where I'm from, is really far away from here. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. <laughs> awesome. He said you look like a human being. <laughs> funny, man. It's funny. Very funny. Wow. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.